The Morris Knowles Golden Eagles finished last year 17-4, second in the American Division. Most of the news about the squad, however, this preseason has been off the mat. The resignation of one coach and the shocking death of another has left the focus off the mat and on other things. New head coach Eric Bradley is relying on his quality upperclassmen to get the team's focus back to where it needs to be. Yeah, we don't have too many egos in this team. We got uh, 13 seniors this year, so they're the, you know, the next to the assistant coaches. They're the ears and eyes of the locker room, so they take care of all the uh, ins and outs with the team. We basically just sit back and run the practices and uh, basically, like I say, we steer the ship for the year. The older guys are basically doing all that work uh, for us. It's been a difficult, obviously, beginning of the year for this team, so we're definitely a much tighter group than I think I've ever been involved in for any sport, being a three-sport coach for the year. Um, so I'm really looking forward to see what these guys can do this year. Two wrestlers the team will rely on for success this season are brothers Luke and Dean Jugak. The juniors combined for 58 wins last year. Dean, who should wrestle at 182, thinks some of the off-season activities the squad has done will bring them closer this season. Well, we've been trying to go to practices as a team. We've been trying to work out together as a team. We've been just spending time together. Half of us are all on the football team. We've been all through the summer program with the football. We've all been just working hard together. We like eat, sleep, sweat. We all do everything together. Other wrestlers who contribute points to the squad are junior Garrett O'Shea, who finished sixth at 106 a year ago, and senior Luke Nappy, who advanced to the MCT final. Morris Knowles is a stacked team this year. They have quality, talent, and depth at nearly every weight class. I look for this team to finish first in the national division, have a record well above 500, and possibly win their state section. For GardenStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower reporting.